Okay, so now we've looked at, uh, let's say, an Excel data set with full entries. Let's explore uh, a data set that has I suppose, entries missing. And for that, I'll pop up my data set two. So this is my data set two here. And notice that we have you know, here we have an element missing, here we have an element missing, and all in this row here, all of them are missing. Okay. So I'm going to first thing I'm going to open this. So we're going to say df dot two is pd dot read csv, and it's going to be my I think it's my data is it my data two dot csv. There we go. So I can print df2 and notice that here we have NAN and that means nothing is in this specific row here. So we have no value there, we have no value there and up here we have no value. Now this could be something with the system, the system could be wrong. Let's say when they were recording how many bike bicycles came in on this day, there was a glitch and someone forgot to, forgot to count them um, and so there's empty values and that happens in data analysis all the time. Sometimes we do end up just having empty columns and empty entries and that, that just happens. So now what I'm going to show you is how you can overcome those empty entries. Before I do that I'm just going to utilise, so we're just going to utilise the dot .info um, kind of section of pandas. So if I say df.2 df2.info and I print this I'll just show you what happens with the whole empty values so when we produce the kind of info we notice here that there's a mismatch of empty values so here this has less empty values this has seven entries that are non-null and we know there are nine entries altogether so what we know here is in this kind of row in this column there are two that are empty because we have nine entries altogether and there are only seven that aren't empty okay so that's just a little side note now we can drop the rows that have empty entries in and the way that we do that we'll assign a new so complete df so data frame is df2 dot drop na and that will drop all of the kind of nan entries we had so empty entries and i'll print this completed df and notice that when we print it okay we have okay i don't need a d it's complete df not completed notice when we do so we have less entries but they're all full again and this is handy it means that you can completely omit those sections and it means that you won't have you know empty entries which is really really handy now instead of completely removing rows uh, we can replace them with a given value so this is something that i did in my internship and essentially what what happened is sometimes you will have points that are completely you know anomalies and what we do is instead of taking those empty sets and and making them you know look weird on graphs have like these gaps you can make set them to a really low value and then you can see that that's an, an anomaly so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to say df.2 we're going to say fill na we're going to say we'll fill all of the empty columns with the number 10 and we're going to say in place is true and that means that they will fill now we'll say print df2 if i can type right click run and now notice that this whole entry here that was empty row six now all has 10 in there and here number 10 and here number 10 so that's a way of replacing all of the empty rows really really handy and just really useful let's say instead of doing the entire row we just want to do one specific column so let's say cars so let's say we just want to replace the entries or the empty entries in the car column okay now the way that we do that is we'll say df2 cars dot fill na as above we'll say 130 let's say for example and i'll say in place is true now i'm just going to hashtag out this above just so it doesn't interfere with this i will print this new data frame we will run okay notice that where are cars cars are here there are cars here and this entire entry 
zero zero you know empty and then for cars we have 130 and that's because it has replaced every empty cell in cars with 130 so let's do trucks now we'll replace that with trucks because trucks have two empty cells so let's run and notice that where the nan were we have the 130 awesome amazing so what you can do there is you can take empty entries in a specific column and replace it with any value you want which is really handy especially because when you start plotting if it's an empty set if it's an empty entry there will be mismatched your graph will be mismatched there'll be kind of gaps whereas if you put it to a really low value say like one you will see that that is an anomaly and it's it's kind of out of the way it just makes your graph look a little bit nicer than if there were gaps in it because it looks too inconsistent so that has been the video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to support the channel even further then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification with it so you don't miss out on any future videos and also check out the donation link in the description of this video but for now i will see you all in the next video